Well, all righty, as you can see from, uh, uh, I've been, once again, I've had uh, been banned or blocked on Facebook. And I'm just gonna give a little background of what happened here. Uh, I've only got, uh, well, as of this video, I've got less than 48 hours left to go. But what happened basically was uh, in the middle of October, uh, I was denied access or had many of my features. Um, I was unable to post anything on Facebook and they, there was three uh, violations they said that uh, occurred. Uh, one was in December of last year, one and one was, uh, and two were in the spring. Uh, one of the ones in the spring was basically, I had appealed it earlier and uh, I was basically exonerated. They said that I didn't violate their standards. Uh, I was banned on both those cases for 30 days each. And um, when I went to appeal, I was saying, hey, listen, guys, I, I already served my time. Uh, they are not letting me contact them. Uh, if you notice down there, uh, down in the bottom corner says, let us know if you feel that uh, I didn't go against the community standards. And they won't, uh, they won't let me contact them. So that uh, let us know is rather bogus or useless. Certainly are unable to contact them. But I think the greatest danger here is basically is that Facebook is supposed to be a public forum where people can express their ideas. It's open to uh, people, ordinary people who do not have any political power or supposed to have any political power or uh, don't have a lot of money where they can uh, exchange their ideas with, uh, with people who they agree with and also, most importantly, with people they disagree with. And when you have a powerful organization that says, wait a minute, uh, we're going to uh, stop uh, you from expressing any idea that we don't like, then they basically have become a organization that instead of supporting free speech, suppresses free speech. And I think this is dangerous. One of the uh, ideals of Western democracies uh, and Western governments is we are allowed to uh, uh, express ideas that may be popular or unpopular. And when we talk about free speech, very often, when we speak to people, their feelings might get hurt. Uh, I remember at a debate I once attended, they sort of went to a, they had to warn people that, hey, you might hear something that you disagree with. Well, why, if you're gonna be bothered by that, why would you possibly, why would you ever come to a debate? A debate or a dialogue, uh, especially one that's lively is, things are gonna be said that the other person may or may not like. So when you go to a debate, when you have a discussion with any discussion with anybody, you risk getting your feelings hurt. You risk being challenged on, and you risk the idea that, hey, you just might be wrong. I might be wrong. And when that is begins to shut down, what is the next step? Well, the next step, step is a, a fascist state where only certain opinions are allowed and that they instill enough fear into an individual that they are afraid to speak, that they don't want to speak, they don't want the hassle. Well, the Lord give, if the Lord gives me strength, I shall continue to speak out. Now, I did also want to just point out that uh, in my case, I think most of my cases are about a certain, and I'm not gonna name this specific group, but a certain re religious ideology that is uh, very often in the news. And um, this re uh, religious ideology, I will uh, state publicly 
without any apolo uh, apology that this religious ideology is nothing more than a polemic against Christianity. And its sole reason for existence is to deny the, the triunity of God, to deny uh, that Jesus Christ is uh, God the Son come in the flesh and to deny uh, that uh, the crucifixion. So just give it a moment of thought, you know which uh, which group I'm talking about, but uh, uh, I dare not name them in case, uh, you know, I'm accused of targeting a specific group, but uh, do your own research and come to your own conclusions on which uh, ideology I am talking about regarding this. But I will continue to speak and I will address the issues that uh, are very, uh, that have, uh, they bring up. In fact, I'm going to have a, uh, answer specific questions from posts that I've seen from uh, the event individuals of this uh, particular uh, religious ideology and answer the question. Some, most are really, <laughs> are really bad because uh, uh, the, the questions are based on a false premise, and some are better than others. And uh, I, I will go and look at some of the better ones uh, because uh, Christians very often ask these same questions too or are a bit confused on it. Anyways, I want to say thanks for watching and may God bless. Oh, I, I do need to explain the uh, green background. I'm trying to work on a green screen and I'm trying to get things set up properly um, so that uh, we can make the videos look a little bit better. Uh, please uh, watch my videos on my YouTube channel. I've learned to uh, get that up and going. And uh, I'll just say again, thanks for watching. Have a great day and may God bless.